conférence d'aujourd'hui, euh, ça donne euh, l'espace pour euh, les défendeurs de droits de l'homme de se réunir, d'avoir de, euh, un espace d'échange euh, et encore euh, euh, de, de promouvoir euh, peut-être euh, les droits de l'homme euh, d'une façon peut-être qui répond à, à l'attente de, des gens qui, sont, qui nous attendent en dehors. C est, c est, c est, ce sont mes attentes. Si j'ai quelque chose à recommander, c'est vraiment d'être avoir un consensus sur un, une recommandation très précise, deux, trois recommandations, ne pas vraiment euh, euh, rester sur euh, euh, notre dialogue sur le plan des politiques hein, ou bien des stratégies. Euh, femmes, euh, arabes encore, euh, mon message serait à nos gouvernements. Il faut bouger, il faut, il faut avoir, il faut faire des actions directes. Euh, les jeunes nous attendent. On ne peut pas parler tout simplement de la cause, qu'est-ce qui qu est -ce qu et toujours négocier et rester dans, 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 dans la discussion de, des définitions, des stratégies. Il faut, il, faut une, il, faut, il faut une acte, hein? il faut faire quelque chose. C'est une bonne initiative prise par le Qatar d'inviter les hauts commissariats et les organisations arabes concernées par le droit de l'homme de se réunir ici à Genève pour examiner le rôle des hauts commissariats. Je pense que c'est une très bonne initiative. Les présents, les personnes présentes, y compris les organisations arabes présentes, ils ont fait aussi des bonnes interventions. Ils ont abordé tous les sujets concernant le monde arabe dans le domaine des droits de l'homme et aussi le rôle du haut commissariat. Les propositions faites de la part des participants contribuent énormément à améliorer l'activité du haut commissariat ici dans la région. Nous espérons, nous espérons beaucoup de cette participation et nous souhaitons que ça améliore aussi la présence du haut commissariat le rôle du Haut-Commissariat, aussi la coopération entre le Haut-Commissariat pour le droit de l'homme et la région arabe, les États et les organisations arabes travaillant dans le domaine des droits de l'homme. The Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights is really there to support the states in meeting its own obligations. So we're really there in the context of a support role. We in no way are there to duplicate or to replace government responsibilities in this regard. Um, it is true that the office comes with a set of international standards against which we try to advise the states on meeting its own obligations. And so there might be a sense at times that we might come with different priorities. But I think that opportunities like this conference enable us to have a dialogue with Arab states as with other states globally to clarify that they we're not talking about different priorities, we're talking about really coming with common international standards and supporting states to meet their obligations. The National Human Rights Committee of uh, Qatar has been a very important player in uh, the um, uh, system of promotion and protection of uh, human rights in the uh, state of Qatar and um, it has contributed uh, uh, quite significantly uh, since it has been accredited, as you know, as an A-status institution, which uh, means uh, it is in compliance with the Paris Principles. Uh, the uh, NHRC has also contributed a lot in the regional aspect, because, as you know, it has supported the Arab network of uh, national human rights institutions quite significantly and um, it has supported it uh, uh, through the uh, Office of the High Commissioner, including by organizing this very important meeting here in Doha, uh, in which we had a very good opportunity to exchange experiences among the national institutions in the region, between us, the Office of the High Commissioner, and the institutions, and among the institutions themselves. Recommendations to civil society, there are recommendations to uh, national human rights institutions, there are recommendations to states, and uh, all of these are concerned. Of course, states are the most uh, important central uh, group or party uh, with regard to implementation of uh, human rights and also enabling people to enjoy, to enjoy uh, human rights uh, in the different areas, be it uh, 
civil and political rights or economic, social and cultural rights. So this is, uh, we hope that the conference will be able to uh, uh, give a, a push to, to the uh, Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights to maximize its efforts and its engagement with the Arab region. I think the first thing uh, that uh, Arab states can do in this context is really to acknowledge the plight of the refugees and to assist them. So that is the first thing that I could do. And assisting here means also receiving refugees. It means assisting them in their, in their needs. And the second one that can be done by Arab states is to address the needs of those who help them. There are many other countries who actually are taking measures and I think they would be able to do more if they were helped to do more. And then the really third thing that uh, is, in my view, very much needed, and that's the very reason why we are here, it is to address the root causes that trigger refugee flows. And here there are two things. Uh, it is actually a violation of peace and security, or it is a violation of human rights. And I think in both of these areas, Arab states can do much better. I think the National Human Rights Commissions, in a general basis, are the key bridging between the international system, the High Commission of Human Rights, as well as the government structures and the civil society in respective countries. It is indispensable that we have these national institutions that can pick up and promote and advocate, especially in a turbulent region like the Arab region right now, these kind of positive aspects. This conference is a good example of how <coughs> these kind of ideas have been promoted. So thank you very much. Your surname's really nice, Kermas. Really? 
Like, it's really easy, like, to say. Yeah, it's easy to say. If you want to make it, it's That's what when you were like, my name is Sana. I kept asking, I was just like, I, it didn't, like, ring for me. والناشطين في حقوق الإنسان اللي ساهموا وبجدية في المحادثات في طبعا وقت لاحق ربما أنا في في الجوحة ثم أخي علي بالاقتصاد الشديد نظرا إلى عمل والمطولية في سامية الحقوق الإنسان وكذلك دعم الجهود لإعداد استراتيجية عربية لنظام ما في ذلك من أهلية زيارة مراكز الاحتجاز. ثلاثة عشر دعوة الدول إلى تكفل تجديد المؤسسات الوطنية لحقوق الإنسان وموانعة التشريعات الوطنية. ستة دعوة المطولية الإسلامية إلى المزيد من التعاون والتنسيق مع المؤسسات الوطنية لحقوق الإنسان ومنظمات المجتمع المدني. لتعزيز ودعم آليات الحماية الوطنية. سبعة دعوة الدول إلى العمل على مقاربة منهجية حقوق الإنسان وإدماجها في الخطط الوطنية المتعلقة بمكافحة الإرهاب. العمل في خمسة ورش على المدى اليومين من قبل ممثلين وخبراء من المؤسسات العربية وسبل دعم وتطوير التعاون مع آليات الهيئات المنشأة بموجب المعاهدات الدولية إلى جانب متابعة وطنية لحقوق الإنسان بدولة قطر بالتعاون مع جامعة الدول العربية والشبكة العربية للمؤسسات الوطنية لحقوق الإنسان مؤتمرا إقليميا حول دور المفوضية السامية لحقوق